Welcome back everyone, I'm the Bad Luck Gamer, and today we're going to be giving our final thoughts on Warhammer 40k Wrath and Glory, which is one of the shorter titles in the, in the Warhammer line, that Warhammer is such an interesting system. So I'm going to preface this first before we get to the interviews. Warhammer is a grim, dark, nitty gritty game that has elements of xenophobia, trans species racism and all kinds of other stuff it's a it's a world or a setting i guess of hatred death and no one really coming out happy in the end it's a very intense game and there's a lot of people out there who love it but i figure i would preface this first before i give you any false sense that this game is anything that it isn't it's a fun game if you like big dudes in big armor wielding skull motifed weapons and armor, this is going to be the one for you. And there's all kinds of really great things about the system, but a lot of that I will get into after you guys hear the player interviews. <clears throat> all right. So how do you enjoy your time with Wrath and Glory? This system's really interesting. It's, um... Oh, it's a good, it's a good time, but like it's definitely one like I mean this is like I feel like a broken record with many systems. It's, this does feel like um like uh it needs like a two sessions to fully get like get it down, but this is a much easier system to learn than many of the others we played. I agree. Yeah, it, I was surprised actually with how fun this one actually turned out to be, and it, it ran yeah. pretty smooth. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing that's surprise that's a uh, like intriguing about it is uh it runs it feels like it runs well. Um it's I was not expecting the core rules to function as well as it did. Mm hmm Alright, well <coughs> I mean you know the the chick at this point, on a scale of one to ten. How how much fun do you, do you have with it? Uh, like a good old eight. I don't Solid think it eight. hooked it hooked me as much as like Lancer or VTM did. Like, um, the thing that carries it in my head is the setting, mm -hmm. but like the core rules of like Vampire the Masquerade and, uh, the rules of Lancer, I think are more intriguing, but this one's like a good old eight. That's fair. I, I think it's really good. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, was there anything that kind of rubbed you wrong with the system or anything that, you know, you didn't find fun with it? Um, it's such a... Okay, listen, I'm going to preface this. Okay, okay. This is a lore nerd complaint. Um, this is, With how this system is designed, with how the classes are, um, the lore nerd in me makes me realize that it's kind of goes against the lore to a good extent to have space marines be really capable of failing checks. Cause, or like combat, missing in combat and all that. Like, it's like the thing of this is a game, so it has game rules, so game into lore disparity. I guess. That's like the only real complaint where I'm like, hmm, Space Marine should never be missing. But other than that, like there's no legitimate complaints I have. It's all like lore nerd weird shit that no one should take into account. That's fair. And be fair, you know, you just roll like garbage. Oh yeah, no. It was it, also I guess uh this that isn't also. a preface. This isn't a preface of me being like uh mm, I rolled like shit. This is my spiteful opinion. It was just that thing of like realizing I'm like it is kind of just a lore thing that Astartes don't miss their shots or anything like that, but you're in a game where you can. It, it's just the lore to um like from book to game jump, you know. Yeah. Just, I, Alpy. It, you have to do it for a game. You cannot have, say, a class that's like, this class never misses. That's not That's not okay for game design. To be fair, even in the war game itself, a bunch of Astartes could technically miss a bunch of cultists. Oh, yeah, completely. And, so. and it's, 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 it's like the same thing. But, you know. Mm -hmm. I guess that's fair. <laughs> I, I, again, it's not... It's like the only, like irk i had with the system and it's not a legitimate complaint That's it is a nitpick at best all right uh what was the role you were trying to go for this time around and i you think you're able to accomplish it i wanted to do some good damage with the crozius uh i would have if i could hit 
but I did it once and it was pretty cool. <laughs> I also did go into this expecting my my character to like the uh, Devin's character because uh, his whole concept then immediately hit the core words of, uh, yes, you are Imperial Fist material. So was the role you were going for a damager? Like, damager, what was the role I'd you were going for uh, damage? Yeah, you know, typical Space Marine. Okay. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I hit once, I did the good damage to a, to a mutant. Let's see. Normally I throw in like an extra question based around the system. I, I, I really don't have anything too much extra to say. It seems pretty what it what what's on the tin is what you get in a lot of ways. Honestly. Which is pretty uh, cool though. Um it, it's really a system that like flows really interestingly well. Um and it's something that I'm happy wasn't just like carried over from real expertise because I've watched the TTS uh, live play game um, mm -hmm. that they've done, the Warhams thing. Uh, and yeah, no combat in that in their like their campaign like goes really quickly. And I was like, I wonder if this is just they all know how to play the game. And it's like, no, it still kind of carries over. It's just the rules are really built around like going through quickly. You're not sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, here's a good question I haven't brought up in a long time. Uh, what do you think separates this game from other tabletops? What do you think is the thing that makes this one unique and would make people want to play it? Oh, the setting. It is all setting for, for this one. Like, I think the rules are like the rules uh, in service with the setting and aesthetic. Like, that's really the main carry point is like, um, because the Warhammer universe is so vast and interesting and like complex and wild, and also just with all the aesthetic stuff you can do and all of that, um, I think that's the key draw. That's my key draw at the very least. Because there's nothing mechanically that jumped out to me, like say Lancer, but because um, I think Lancer is still the most mechanically fun game we've played. But setting wise, I. I love this. If I could play a game with the rules of Lancer in the setting of 40k, I'd be set for life. Which I granted, when I say that, that sounds like the Warhammer, like the Warhammer War game. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair. Which is why uh, it's one of my favorite games. <laughs> fair enough. How likely it would you be to uh recommend this game to someone else on a scale of one to ten? Uh same number, like an eight. And like if eight. if someone if um if someone liked Warhammer I would say, oh, Wrath and Glory is a good get if you want to get into, like, if you want to play a tabletop RPG version of it. I would suggest it. I don't know how much I'd suggest it over Dark Heresy because we haven't touched it. The That's other... Good. Because I've, I've heard the other tabletop system is also very good. Um, But, like, it's different. I think it's a... I want to say it's, like, a D10 system. But, you know. Because this is more modeled off the war game. Fair. All right, well... Uh, I, I guess that's all I need. Any yeah. final thoughts? Uh, Imperial Fists are the best Space Marine chapter. That's it. That's nice. really it. Okay. Fuck the Ultramarines. So, uh, <clears throat> how'd you, uh, how'd you like the game? I liked it a lot. It was a good game. I like to play that's more, fair. too. <laughs> fair. Well, then that's a good good lead into on a scale of one to ten, where would you put your enjoyment of the game? Hmm. Maybe an eight, but just because I I don't know enough about Warhammer lore. I feel like if I had that knowledge it would be even better. Oh, okay. Eight could be higher depending on knowledge of the lore. Fair enough, yeah. fair enough. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, was there anything that rubbed you wrong about the system? Anything you disliked about the system? Not necessarily. Um, I, I just realized, like, you should spec a little, like, spread out your specs a little more than I did. Yeah. I, I realized after actually playing it that a zero in something is actually just complete garbage. And it's you, pretty bad. It'd be yeah. way better to have a one in something. That's fair. <clears throat> but it worked out fine. It's uh, true. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, what was the role you wanted to go for, and do you think you're able to accomplish that? Um, yeah, I was going for a sort of like heavy melee centric guy, and I think I did that good with my twelve weapon skill. Yeah, you were you're probably the most accurate one in the party. Yeah, I I like that. I that's basically all I built my dude to do. Um and he did it good. That's fair. That's fair, that's really good. Uh what do you think separates this tabletop from like other tabletop games? Uh I think it's sort of like the vibe of Warhammer, like it like how earlier you were saying like the combat is really simple and like you don't make a lot of choices outside of beforehand when you choose your weapons and talents and stuff but like i think that's part of the warhammer experience where it's not supposed to be like the combat's not supposed to be a complicated decision making thing it's just a big bloodbath yeah, that definitely can can come across for sure. Is that do you think the major draw for the game? Yeah, I think that's like the appeal of it, a lot of it because it is nice to just sort of have that like I'm going to destroy literally everything type of play. And then when there you get that one enemy that's so hard to beat, I'm sure that's also pretty good that's fair just a nice change of pace there good challenge yeah it, it does feel just as blend through enemies sometimes yeah oh uh, okay how likely would you be to recommend this game to someone else seen you know, on scale one ten um at least an eight probably least an eight. more yeah probably i think more. it seems a lot more complicated than it is and once you realize that it's like wow this is this is nice. I, I liked sort of the the simplicity that wasn't very apparent, but then, uh, like, you can also just do a lot of, with it, like, depending on how you go. I'm sure if we weren't all just space marines, it would be a completely different experience to play it out. I think that's true. I'd love to play again and be, like, tech priest or psyker or something. Yeah, that I'd would also be love to be a space marine again. It's just fun. Okay, well, I guess that's all I need. Uh, any final thoughts you have? Uh, play the game. It's good. Be be brothers with everyone, except for the you know non space marines. That's disgusting. Yeah, fuck the guardsmen. Okay, Hate that guy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh all right well how'd you enjoy the game oh it was pretty good i liked it a lot i was a little bit like since i'm brand new i was a little bit confused how everything worked but besides that it was awesome okay that's fair that's fair uh on a scale of one to ten what, what would you mark your your fun at or how much you I'd mark the system it. i think like an eight because it was fun slashing, uh, blah, cutting through people, but it was a little bit weird with like how you roll your weapon. Like with roll, roll twenty or not, blah. With Pathfinder, you just click on the weapon and that's it. But it was a little bit odd clicking on weapon skill and then that, yeah, the that's weapon true. damage. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, was there anything about the game you didn't like? Uh, it was a little bit strange that um, you know how with the other part it wouldn't add in like let's say one moment. Oh, you mean like difficulties with the character sheet? Yeah, that yeah. was a little bit weird. Beyond that, anything with the game itself that you know you may not have liked or felt was a little weird. Oh no, everything was really good besides the weird stuff with the sheet. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, what was the role you were going for, and did you think that you were able to accomplish that? I was hoping to be like the beefy damage dealer. I was like a little bit with that first hit, 
but that second it wasn't too great. But that's okay. That's right. You did do a lot of damage, though. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What do you think uh, separates this game from other tabletops? What do you think draws people to this game? Uh, I noticed, like, with the initiative and with the battling, it was a lot quicker than Pathfinder. Like, you have to wait for your turn, and this one's a lot quicker. So I could see how people would like that more. Like, you get to, like, pick, like, oh, I'm ready to mess people up instead of going for and uh, You know what I'm saying. Like, instead yeah. of rolling the highest highest initiative on one thing you just like oh i'm ready to do this which that's really awesome yeah the fast paced combat is definitely one of its selling points i think yeah okay uh how likely are you to recommend this game to someone else on a scale of one to ten i would definitely recommend it like a nine like a nine i think it just depends on the person but if you like fast paced kind of a silly game and want to make a beefy character or really any character you want i feel like this will be a good game that's fair you know that's pretty that's that's a pretty fair point well that's pretty much all i need uh do you have any anything you want to say about the game any final thoughts uh, i think that's it well beyond that how'd you like the game it was fun despite being very short and spending nearly an hour on all of us trying to roll for uh equipment at the beginning yeah yeah unfortunately just kind of the the introductory period we also learned about a lot of rules and all that kind of stuff uh but you did get your jump pack because of it so you know yeah i jumped out a mile long hole you did uh well was there or on a scale of one to ten where would you put your enjoyment of the game I'd say a six and a half. I mean, it's Warhammer. Warhammer's fun. But I felt limited. Most of it, it's brought down mainly because I felt like I wasn't really able to get into character that much, being someone who doesn't really know much about Warhammer. And we didn't really get to do much other than fight some mobs that are just easy meant to die one hits. So you felt like it was too easy? I feel like I didn't really get to experience the system much. That's fair. I mean, it's very hard to do that all in, like, one session. So, yeah, you know, that's just how it is with these first looks. But that's fair. Well, <clears throat> I then I guess uh, what parts of the system, were there any parts that you disliked or you thought were weird? Not much I really disliked, but then again, there was stuff I was confused on, on like uh, how defense, resilience, and all that worked out, but you seem to have it figured out, so I didn't really need to. That's fair. There is a lot of just random rules, but I feel like once you get it, it goes real fast. Yeah. Well, uh... What was the role you were trying to fill for the group, and were you able to accomplish that? A stealthy infiltrator. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I went down a hole, no one else did to scout ahead, successfully did so. And then I also detected an ambush, which allowed okay. us to not get ambushed, which was great. Uh, that's fair. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> What do you think is the major draw for this this system? What do you think really sets it apart from other tabletops? Uh, I mean, it gives like you, what you said earlier was just you can. There are enemies that are just meant to be weak and to die easily. Just the feel of power that the system is meant to give you because you are powerful in game terms. So you really like that power fantasy that kind of comes with it. Yes. Seeing Alicia just, or imagining Alicia's character just with a giant chain broadsword, basically just tearing into a bunch of people, which is a really good mental image. That's fair. That's fair. 
Uh, how likely would you be to recommend this game to someone else on a scale of 1 to 10? I'd give it like a 7 or 8 to Warhammer fans and maybe like a 5 to non-Warhammer fans. Okay. So, you know, a little bit more, a little bit less depending on what you like, but like averaged around like a 6 or 7, something like that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that's fair. Well, that's pretty much all I need. Uh, any final thoughts? Raven Guard, best legion. But hey, welcome. How'd you enjoy the game? Uh, I actually enjoyed it a lot. I think it's a very interesting system. That's fair. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you say you liked the game? Uh, I'd give it an 8, for sure. An 8? That's pretty solid. Pretty good. Was there anything about the game that you didn't like or felt kind of weird and we're off? Mm, not really. It kind of ran pretty smoothly once we started fic picking it up, and people were picking it up really quickly, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the great things about the game is it just runs really smoothly once you get it. <clears throat> but there's just a lot of different rules that you got to account for, so one of those things. Uh, what was the role you were trying to accomplish, and did you feel like you were able to do it? Uh, I was trying to accomplish the role of, like, the outsider in the group to facilitate RP, which I think worked swimmingly, yeah. actually. Uh, and then, honestly, just fulfilling the the guardsman that could at least survive three seconds uh, against a space marine, and I think I did that as well. That's fair. Yeah, you made a surprisingly tanky guardsman. Yep. Uh, what do you think sets this game apart from other tabletops? What do you think its major draw is? Uh, honestly, the world is probably a very good example because uh, there's just like some crazy ass shenanigans that come from like Warhammer, <laughs> which I think it, uh, the bit of that chaos, ironically, is what kind of like draws people in a bit. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, besides that, there's just a lot of aesthetic in uh, Warhammer as well. Uh, that's true. It's a very aesthetic system, if nothing else. True. Uh, well, then how likely would you be to recommend this game to other people on a scale of 1 to 10? I would say I would definitely place it at around a 9. Um, just because... Uh, say somebody's looking for like a an easier to pick up system that's not necessarily D&D &D, this might be something I would float their way then honestly that's fair that's fair that's an interesting thought well that's pretty much all I need uh, any final thoughts uh nah I had fun okay good same good time good system alright alright and with that We've come to my thoughts on Warhammer 40k and or well, Wrath and Glory, I should say. And before we get into that, if you're liking these kind of videos, we really need to know they don't they don't do super well on the channel. But I feel like as the channel gets bigger, it will catch on as more and more people want to come in and they want to find new types of games. And we want to give at least some impressions on new games and introduce people to games. So if you like that kind of content, like, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Not only that, but you can join us down in the Discord where we talk all things <clears throat> tabletop, including the Warhammer 40k War game. And I always recruit there first for any of the games that we play like this where, you know... <clears throat> We test out new game systems. So if you're interested in any of that, join. Or you can at least follow me on Twitter to know when our next uh, look into a new game system is coming out. But with that, Warhammer 40k Wrath and Glory was a surprisingly smooth system. The game works very well. It's got very basic rules that once you understand all the traits and all the different little functions, that's, that's where the game is hardest. Learning what each individual trait for like weapons, armors, abilities, all that kind of stuff is. Once you kind of get a grasp of everything in the game, though, it's a game that runs itself pretty much. It's really easy to identify 
what you need to roll in some situations. Obviously, our play our playthrough, we probably didn't do everything right, but it worked really well, and everyone came out pretty impressed. As you saw there, most everyone put this game at an 8 and would highly recommend this game, which is pretty impressive, honestly. My only... The only criticisms I would have with the game system is a lot of what your character customization revolves around is what you pick before the game starts what armor weapons all that kind of stuff there's not really any abilities unless you're like a psyker or something like that and combat can eventually just come down to a meat grinder where it's just whichever side you know blends itself down or gets blended down first is the loser that's kind of just warhammer in general that fits the aesthetic very well not only that but with the reason as to like the tier system, which we didn't really describe all too much in these videos, but essentially this game has a tier system and the tier system dictates how powerful the characters are. And while characters can transcend certain tiers, that doesn't mean like if you're a guardsman, you can't transcend into being a space marine. You know what I mean? You just become a more experienced guardsman, but higher tier starting characters are going to just inherently be more powerful. You could alter it. You could turn guardsmen into space marines or anything along those lines. But this game is a lot more orientated towards campaigns, I should say, like campaign adventures that you have a, a clear start point and an end point, And you might go up like one tier over that course, but more or less you're just working with the tier you got. We had a player who played a guardsman. He had a lot of fun and he did it pretty well. Everyone else was Space Marines and they felt really, really strong. So, you know, this game is great because you have a lot of opportunity to play a story you want. You want to play a more political style story between like a rogue trader and some inquisitors or other Imperium agents. You can do that. You can, there's a lot of ways. You can have a very grim, dark, high, hard, gritty survival based game where you can just have nothing but space marines yelling brother at each other and slaying tons of orcs, tyranids, or whatever, you know. Warhammer is such an interesting universe, and nothing we could do, ever do on this channel could get anywhere near close to it. If you're interested in Warhammer, go check that out. We might even be coming out with more Warhammer-type videos on a soon-upcoming supplementary channel possibly it depends on the workload and all that kind of stuff but there has been an interest in it so you know we'll have to see where it ends uh, i thoroughly enjoyed running this game learning this game was honestly not that bad i was spending a large portion of the month of getting videos pumped out for a new book that came out for pathfinder 2e and i was still able to run this game i felt honestly pretty well so, you know, like, this game's really easy to get into. The rules work really well. And the combat is probably one of the fastest combats I've ever seen in tabletop, which is impressive, to say the least. The combat's not very complex, and the amount of actions you really have are very limited. But it still runs very, very smoothly. And sometimes that's refreshing. Sometimes you just want to shoot as many bullets or cut through as many types of enemies as you can and just go through hordes and hordes of enemies. And this is the game for you if that's the case. But with that, that's gonna be the end of my thoughts for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or join the Discord and you can act access, ask us there directly. And we will be taking off the month of August because I'll be heading to Norway and I just don't have time to prep for videos for the week I'm gonna be gone and run a one shot and as well the timing is just really bad so we will be picking up with blades in the dark in september and we'll be running a blades in the dark cam uh, game one shot in september and check that out and then starting with october which is funny because that's pretty much right around the uh one year anniversary of when we really started get going we will be putting up four new tabletops to look on the system and or to look at and we'll be trying some more stuff out there. Anyway, I've talked more than enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Good luck with your games. Lead the bad luck to me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.